Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rainway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 27th, 2021. Well, my goodness, I took a day off and they decided to push the SPY into new record territory, but we still have some challenges above to consider, although we see the futures trying to pump us up into the pre-market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's take a look at these index charts and see if we can get some information about how we may want to approach the market for today on the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, let's take a look. I hope everyone, by the way, had a wonderful holiday, had a great Christmas. Hope Santa Claus was good to you. Let's take a look. We have a um, holiday week still um, in the market, and that's just with the New Year's holiday um, coming our way. We have um, a interesting week ahead of us um, that could be lighter than normal volume. And we've got pandemic worries starting to crop up all over the place um, around the world. But let's take a look at these index charts. First off, let's take note that we still have some resistance in the chart. We tried pretty hard to push up. And let's keep in mind that the Dow uh, from this low in just four trading days gained over 1200 points so that's a pretty substantial rally to the upside and we're trying to stretch it yet again to the upside here this morning now one of the things you have to consider is once we've rallied so strongly and one of the things i do want to point out is we rallied really strongly on declining volume volume just continued to weaken over the course of last week and we have to keep in mind we have this resistance level above will we be able to on a low volume move be able to push out to a new record high in the diamonds well that'll be the question and if we take note if we've got a little bit of a downtrend maybe going on here we've got a bit of an uptrend going on here what's going to win out in this market certainly there's an awful lot of high speculation and there's a whole lot of desire for new records um, more than 60 new records in the market this year. Pretty darn remarkable. So one of the things I would say is we can't rule out that possibility that the bulls will be able to push on through, set some new highs here in the market. We certainly couldn't rule out that there'd be some entrenched bears up in this area willing to uh, push back to the downside. And that would be just because of the uncertainty that's out there in the market with uh, uh, the new variant creating all of this turmoil shutdowns and lockdowns and places around Europe and things going on. So we'll want to keep a close eye on that. Watch that carefully if that were to pull back. Um, and it wouldn't be a big surprise to see a little bit of pullback or a little bit of rest after such a big point rally. Now let's take a look at that SPY. Now that SPY, we squeaked out that new record high close just by a little tiny bit but they're trying to pump that in the pre-market this morning so we're pushing up we're looking at a maybe five day upside move here trying to set another new record in the spy here at the open the question will be as we open will we have that possibility of that pop and drop remember we've done this a couple of times where we gap up into that open and find nothing but sellers up there. So watch that carefully. That possibility does currently exist. Now, if we were to take a look at a little upside trend, notice how we've got this little, little teeny tiny upside here in the market and that would beg that question whether or not we'll come back and test some support levels let's keep in mind that we did push back above our 50-day moving average and that's in the diamond spy and the qqq so if we were to pull back if we were to rest a little bit here in the market watch a level right in here if we can hold a level remember it's one thing to surge back up it's another thing to prove whether or not we're going to support this move to the um, on the upside now we could certainly push on through 
two new records and prove up here as well. So kind of keep that in mind, but watch that closely. I don't know with the volumes that we're going to have, whether or not we're going to be able to sustain this if we're, uh, we might catch a little bit of a pullback in this gap up open this morning. A um, little pop and drop possible. Um, let's take a look at the Qs. Now the QQQ is stretching hard this morning. They're pushing really hard in the Qs, but let's take, take note that we've got quite a little price resistance right here in the chart that we're bouncing up into. It doesn't mean we can't push through. We've seen a willingness to just you know, risk doesn't seem to matter anymore as long as we can speculate really hard on stocks. Um, there just seems to be an un unbelievable desire to chase risk in the market right now. But what we do want to keep in mind is as we've popped, if we pop out up here, just keep in mind we've done this once before and we did catch a rejection in here. So watch that carefully. Will the new variant um, uh, uncertainties create that issue? I don't know. But watch that carefully as we test that resistance level in the chart. If we were to pull back once again, there's not a whole lot in here to hang our hat on, but we do have a little bit of price support right in there, and that would hold above the 50-day moving average. So if we do catch a rest or pullback, look for that to maybe come into there, and we'll see if we can hold in that area. And then we still have that pesky IWM out there that is a bit of a problem now. Certainly we have this sort of bullish W formation here in the chart. But if we take a look right down through here, we just barely cracked through that downtrend here in IWM with a ton of congestion price resistance in this chart above. And we have the additional complication in this chart, the unfortunate complication. We're still below our 200 day and our 50 day moving average in the Russell. So um, IWM not looking all that healthy, even though we're really trying to pull it up with the Diamond Spy and QQQ. So watch that carefully and, and be real cognizant of, of this. If we were to start to fail in here, that could drag the rest of the market a little bit lower. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX on a Thursday in that uh, pullback finally push back enough, we had fear dropping out of the market, which I think is um, unique that we had fear dropping out of the market with such low volume, but we had fear dropping out of the market. The VIX says uh, nobody is too worried about this market, and we have finally broken that little uptrending move in the VIX. Now we'll want to watch this closely as we push back. We're back below that 20 handle, and I've talked about that many times. That 20 handle is kind of an important area. Now that we're back below that, well, we can push on down and we can test some other support levels in the chart as we push on down and just say, we don't care. We're, we're not worried about, we don't have any fear. Um, so watch that carefully. Now, if we were to see those bears re-engage and if we were to spike back up above 20, then that's where we might have a little bit of problem. So just watch that closely. Um, it may be just kind of a, a float around day here um, with not a lot to go on in the earnings or economic calendar. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Now let's take a look at that uh, T2122. Now here's our potential problem. T2122, we have rallied so much, we're right back up here at the bearish reversal zone. And the gap up open this morning, pushing us even higher, will push us right up into this bearish reversal zone. And we've seen that. We have we can hold up here for a while. We've seen that before as well. We could hold up here. We could also get a firm rejection of that. And we've certainly seen that, where we get a pop and drop. We pop up in there and get a firm rejection of that level. So watch that carefully here this morning as we push into that uh, bearish reversal zone. We've kind of stretched these indexes pretty far in just a few trading days, and that can create some more volatility. So watch carefully for that. Then if we take a look at our T2108, I got to tell you, guys, T2108, nice little improvement on Thursday. 
in that rally back up. But let's keep in mind, we set new record highs in the SPY with just 34% of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average. That means that as we continue to set new record highs in the market, notice we've set new record highs here, we set new record highs here, we set new record highs here, we set new record highs here and here. That's pretty remarkable considering um, where we are in the valuations of, of stocks right now, that we're continuing to be able to push this up with very few stocks participating on that upside move. So be careful if this were to snap or break, you could see how it could move really quickly. So then let's take a look at our T2107. Again, new record highs um, in um, the SPY and 39 percent of the stocks above their 200 day moving average. That means we still have a lot of stocks um, well below their um, those averages um, and we have resistance above in the chart. So as we push back up into this downtrend, we're going to want to watch for that possibility that we could see some additional selling. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our T2101. Our T2101, as we typically see, market breadth declines when we rally. Now we rallied on very low volume. And so notice we've come all the way back to test this downtrend, um, uh, this break of this downtrend in this wedging pattern here on T2101. We have some price support right in through there. So the question is, will we bounce off of that? We would probably need to see those bears re-engage here at price resistance to bounce off of that. If they don't, we slip back down here into this wedging pattern and who knows how long we could continue to continue to wind that up toward a point as we continue to just be uber bullish in this market. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar, let's take a quick peek here, is going to be a light day. As you can see, we've got some bond auctions here this morning. Um, some um, really short-term bond auctions this morning. Not much going on here at all for the day. Let's uh, take a look at the rest of the week. We've got some Case Shiller, some home prices here on Tuesday. We've got international trading goods coming in on Wednesday. And of course, our jobless claims and petroleum status in there. But um, honestly, a, a, a relatively light week of economic data to uh, concern ourselves with here in the market. Though we will have quite a few bond auctions. We've got a five-year, seven-year um, auction. So we'll want to keep an eye on those. But for now, a pretty light week on that economic calendar. Then on the earnings calendar, we can probably expect a really light week as well. Today we have just five companies on that earnings calendar um, and only a couple of them that are verified and I don't think they're going to be particularly notable. Um, QIPT will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. And AEY, um, you know, a dollar seventy-two stock. So not exactly um, notable reports. And we're going to see um, very light earnings data um, throughout um, this week. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, also, I want to remind everyone that we have a holiday coming up. And so um, once we move into that um, Thursday time period, um, watch for those volumes to continue to, to decline. And oftentimes the New Year's, um, people taking off for New Year's um, is uh, been a, a larger volume hit. Um, than Christmas. So we'll want to watch carefully for that possibility as we move toward that holiday. Um, right way options and hit and run candlesticks will be closed. We will be closed 
on the 30th and the 31st. So just keep that in mind. I've got a three day week to worry about this week. Um, kind of a nice thing to have uh, occurring. So with that guys, how about we take a look at a few stocks that might be setting up, but please keep in mind guys that these are not necessarily recommendations to buy or sell any securities. As a matter of fact, we're gonna have to be really, really careful um, this week with these declining volumes um, in charts. And just, just remember there's going to be an awful lot of um, uncertainty maybe with the, the variant cropping up um, and creating all kinds of issues out there pandemic wise. Now, whether we worry about it or not, um, uh, right now we're showing an ability to just ignore, but just keep in mind that as that creeps up, markets hate uncertainty and that can create that volatility um, in the market. Let's take a look at BMY. BMY, nice little pattern here, as you can see. Nice little resting consolidation here after we broke through some resistance in the chart, showing some bullishness. I'd keep a close eye on this as this kind of rests out here toward this trend. Keep an eye on BMY for some upside opportunity. Looking pretty darn good overall. I still like this chart in VALE, even though it's kind of slipped past this trend. This consolidating move in here still is very very productive in that chart. Let's keep an eye on that chart. Um, there may be an opportunity for that to start moving on up to the upside. Um, I think we have to start taking a look at some of these little resting pullbacks in these defensive sector and drug sector stocks. Take a look at Pfizer. Pfizer's been really, really strong this year, moving up strongly. There's our upside trend. We broke through this resistance. Uh, please take note, these are all-time highs in Pfizer. Um, this nice little resting consolidation in here. If we can find bullishness in this market, then watch for that opportunity that could continue to push on through to the upside. Really nice looking chart overall. And then there's some stocks out there that are just kind of almost defying gravity. Um, take a look at McDonald's. McDonald's being really, really strong here to the upside, um, continuing to push through to that, that move up, and we can see that opportunity where this could continue to stretch on out. Take a look at stocks like Home Depot now. Home Depot ran into a little bit of a topping problem here, but notice this last week we've rallied up really strongly and we might push back through that resistance. So if we can push back through that resistance and hold, then we have more upside opportunity. But this is also one of those stocks that show if we were to fail right here at that resistance, we'll have to take note that we broke down through that trend. We've got a little bit of a downtrend going on in this chart. So watch that possibility that Home Depot could fail or fade here, could set up an interesting short in that chart. Watch that carefully um, as we move forward. Take a look at UNH. United Healthcare has been unbelievably strong and we continue to just push up, push up, push up. I mean, this is one of those charts. If I go to a weekly, wouldn't you wanted to just buy this and hold it all the way through? Pretty darn remarkable run. But the question we have to start asking on some of these stocks is just how far, what, what's the valuation that this finally halts at? Um, let's watch that carefully because right now it doesn't show any willingness to slow down and more upside opportunity in UNH. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at some of these defensive sector stocks like PepsiCo. Interesting that PepsiCo broke out. Let's pull this back as you can see broke out. These are all time highs in PepsiCo. Um, continuing to show lots of bullishness here in this chart. So watch that carefully. If the market does get nervous, we've seen a major rotation into dividend paying stocks here recently. So watch that carefully if that can kick off and get moving here to the upside in PepsiCo. Coke also had a major reversal back up, breaking out proving to hold some support in here and pushing on higher, I'd keep a close eye on Coke. Sticking with the beverage theme, um, take a look at Monster. Monster Beverages pushing up here in that chart, breaking through a little bit of resistance. If I were to take this back, 
pull a little downtrend right off of here. Notice we've broken through that area right up here, pushing through a resistance level. So any consolidation, rest, or pullback would set up an opportunity there for Monster Beverage. Take a look at some really old, boring companies like Colgate Palmolive. Colgate Palmolive, this is an amazing push up. This is that rotation I'm talking about where institutions, I think, are moving, uh, they're deleveraging from the high flying stocks and they're looking for some safety here in the market. So take a look at this big old divvy pair. This guy holding some support in here after pushing major majorly up in the chart. Now certainly we still have resistance here in the chart to be concerned about, but pretty amazing to see some of these stocks like Colgate, um, um, Hershey, um, big push up here in Hershey, holding some support levels in the chart. Seeing stocks like um, CLX getting a resting pullback here in the chart. Now this one was damaged a little bit more. We pushed up pretty hard, but it's been damaged pretty heavily in this pullback. So not quite as stellar as I've uh, these other char charts that I was showing you, but notice that it's holding that trend. And if we can find that little support in here, there may be that opportunity that that may rest and come back around to the upside. So there's quite a few in that defensive sector. And I'm gonna have to, um, point this out, XLP, if you take a look at the XLP uh, Spider Select Sector ETF, very, very bullish chart. Notice we've pushed up hard those consumer staples holding very strong. That's an uncertain market. That's an, a rotation into quality, a rotation into safety. So watch that carefully here if those continue to move. And with TC2000 guys, uh, this is just a real easy operation. You click one icon and you can pull up everything that's in that sector. And take a look at these like Estee Lauder trying to push through to the upside. Kellogg's, who'd have thought we'd be looking at Kellogg's here? How about GIS holding some support in the chart? We've got Philip Morris putting in a nice downtrend break and a higher low pattern, little inverted head and shoulders pattern. So lots of stocks in this stack, in this. Uh, um, consumer staples area really starting to perk up and and put in some nice patterns so certainly worth keeping an eye there so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great results in your trading thanks so much for being here i do appreciate it could be a really interesting week with low volume, so be careful. Make sure you plan your risk very carefully. With that, everyone, have an awesome day, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning.